Ladies and gentlemen, I have just received uh, another Santa Syndrome case by uh, this person, PSP Boy 97. Um, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go to his email. He says, I think I found a Santa Syndrome case. And so, oh, and also before we go to the Santa Syndrome case, I received an email from someone leaving atheism. We get these all the time. He says, I can't deny it anymore. It was right in front of my eyes the whole time that Christ is 100% real and there's good evidence that he existed. Anyways, thank you for your support and hard work on YouTube. I just don't know how anyone can deny the existence of Christ. What he said that's been talked about for more than 2,000 years of recorded history. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So we have someone leaving atheism. Let's help another person leave the madness of atheism so PSP boy sent me this and um, it is Santa syndrome now what Santa syndrome is is a actual scientific uh, study that I've been doing where I've noticed that Santa Claus causes atheism so he sent this video to me let's watch it and let's please hope he doesn't talk about Santa this gentleman's an atheist. He just said atheists cannot convince Christians. We know that's not true because we just I just received an email uh, from someone that is convinced and is leaving atheism. Very intelligent person. So let's listen to what he says. Please tell me he's, this atheist is not going to talk about Santa. Although, right here in the eyes, I've known people with Santa syndrome. Notice the hopelessness, the depression. Let's see what he says, shall we? Redneck Trucker 1969. All wrong. Just because someone believes something does not make it true. And now, part two with sexy glasses. So I guess he's going to put sexy glasses on. Uh, all right, whatever. And let's see what he does. I have a question for you. Yes. Were you born? No. No. Oh, no. I think I know where he's going with this. Were you born knowing? Look. He's getting happier looking because he's going to talk about you know who, Santa. Please tell me it's not Glasses. true. I have a question for you. Yes. Were you born Don't say it. knowing and believing in Santa Claus? Oh. Really? Well, then were you born believing in God? Notice he equates God and Santa. When we believed in Santa Claus, there was actual evidence. We saw him. Watch, he's going to start Macy's grieving. He's going to grieve. We even sat upon his lap. And he. <laughs> Listen. Always, always left us presents. You could tell two. he's still sad. Maybe a lump of coal. Oh, see, he got like a lump of coal. He's still sad about Santa. Let's Let's play on. Until that fateful day oh. that your parents took you aside. See how sad he is? And told you the truth. I remember that day. I prayed very fervently See? to He's Santa Claus very that, upset. Night, that Christmas night. Notice he prayed very hard to Santa Claus that Christmas night. And I said, I don't care what my mother says. I still believe in you. <laughs> Oh, it's over you know there's uh, lots of brilliant people that are Christians that are astronauts actually uh, people on Apollo 11 people that were on Apollo 15 these astronauts uh, the lunar mod module uh, Apollo 16 these are all Christian uh, astronauts people of faith very intelligent people I don't think these people here these astronauts go around talking about Santa Claus so much so Please pray for Redneck Trucker 1969. Brother, you got it. And you got it bad. Ladies and gentlemen, Santa Syndrome is real. We have proven it. I'd like to thank um, the person that is leaving atheism. Thanks for the email. And I'd also like to thank PSP Boy. You're going to see a pop up here. Click it, and you can subscribe to PSP Boy 97's channel. He has discovered another case of Santa Syndrome. It grieves us to say, Redneck Trucker, 1969. Brother, you got it, and you got it bad.